Hey everyone! Thanks for tuning in to Crochet with LJ. Today I will be demonstrating how to crochet this braided cable stitch. It's a bit more advanced, but once you get going it's basically just a four row repeat. And if you already know how to braid, this will be somewhat intuitive for you. So I'm just going to be showing the stitch technique today, how to start it, the four row repeat, how to end it. But other than that, how you choose to apply this to a pattern or project that you're working on is up to you. And I'm just using a five millimeter crochet hook, a worsted weight yarn, but you are welcome to use any other yarn that you would like with a corresponding hook size. So let's get started. Okay, so let's begin with a slip knot. And we're going to chain 13. One, two, three. Thirteen. All right, and starting row one in the second chain from your hook, we're going to half double crochet one in each chain, and that will be a yarn over. Insert through that second chain from the hook, pull the yarn through, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. Okay, now do one half double crochet in each chain, and you should have a total of 12 half double crochets at the end of this chain. Here's the end of row one. Be sure to count so that you have 12 half double crochet stitches. And then we will chain one and turn our work. Row two is going to be the same. We're just going to do one half double crochet in each stitch. So yarn over, pull through, and then pull through three, just like we were just doing, but we're just working into the 12 stitches now. Here's the end of row two. You should still have 12 stitches. And now we will chain one, turn our work, and we're going to start row three with one half double crochet in the first three stitches. One, two, three. Okay, now we're gonna get into some front post treble crochets and I'll go slow at first, in case this is new for you. But the post part comes in, we're gonna be working behind the posts in the first row. So locate your next stitch right here and then go down to the stitch below that and it's slightly off to the left a little bit. And we're gonna be working around this entire stitch or post. So, Yarn over twice. Okay, here's our next stitch. Here's the one below it. So go behind this entire thing. So I'm actually going like between stitches here and coming up on this side. So I'm, this is the post we're going to be working around. And now yarn over and pull that yarn through that post. And now you should have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the last two. Okay, that was our first front post treble crochet. I'm going to do it again slowly for you. Remember, we start with a double yarn over. And now you see where this post is coming off of? This whole thing is a post now. Um, but now we're going to be working in the stitch next to that and creating another post. So we're going right, like literally going through the work here and then popping back up. Yarn over, pull through the stitch. You have four loops on your hook. 
yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so we're gonna do six of those front post treble crochets. Yarn over. three. It really helps if you kind of like pinch right here when you're pulling through all these stitches. Otherwise it can be a little hard to get a handle on. So be patient with yourself. This is a little bit tricky to get the hang of. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. We want one more. Okay, so now we have six front post treble crochets, and we're gonna end this row just like we started with three half double crochets. And we're basically skipping these one, two, three, four, five, six stitches we did, because they're just on the front now. So just half double crochet in those last three. Okay, so that is row three and we will chain one and turn our work. Now row four is just going to be a row of one half double crochet in each stitch. Okay and we're going along this line. Remember this is the ones we skipped when we did those front posts so be sure that you're crocheting into those front post stitches. Just do one half double crochet in each stitch all the way across. We're gonna have 12 stitches throughout this entire sample, so you always wanna have 12 stitches. the end of row four. This is the back side, by the way. So we're going to chain one, turn our work, and this is going to be the front side where our posts are. To start row five, we will do one half double crochet in the first three stitches. One, two, three. And now we're going to do some more post stitches and we're going to do front post treble crochets and front post double treble crochets and they're almost exactly the same and I'll show you the front post double treble crochet and this is also where we start braiding so we're going to actually be going around this third post to start and we're going to be switching these two stitches and these two stitches. So. Yarn over three times now. This is the front post double treble crochet. Yarn over three times, and we're gonna work around the third post. And now these posts are a little more obvious to see now that they're kind of sticking out. So yarn over and pull from behind that post, just like we were before, it's just the post is a little bigger. Okay, and now we have one, two, three, four, five loops on our hook. You're gonna yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, ah, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and one more time you will yarn over and pull through two. So I'll show you one more time, and again the only difference between the front post treble crochet and this the front post double treble crochet is an extra yarn over. So three yarn overs. And then there's one more pull through and we go around this post. So that's one, two, three, four. Okay, so it's the same thing, just with one extra loop in there. And now this is where we will cross these two sets of posts. And now we're gonna go back and do front post double treble crochet around the first post and the second post. So yarn over three times. We're going all the way back here and going behind just this first post. Pulling the yarn through and pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. 
pull through too. All right, are we getting the hang of this yet? <laughs> Yarn over three times. Now we're gonna get that second post, okay? So we're going back. Make sure you're just picking up that second post. Going through the motions. Okay, so let's look at our work here. We made a little crisscross. And now we're gonna do two front post treble crochets around these last two posts. So go back to a double yarn over. Do these front post treble crochet around these next two. And then half double crochet in the last one in the last three stitches. All right, so that's what it looks like. Basically, we crossed these two and these two, and we kept these straight. And because this goes a little bit longer length, that's why we do the double trebles on the ones that we're crossing and the regular trebles on the ones that are straight. And now to do row six, we will chain one, turn our work, and all of the even rows are just gonna be half double crochet rows. So go ahead and do one, half double crochet in each stitch. Again, remember to follow the post stitch and not the skipped stitches. Chain one, turn your work. Now we'll do row seven. Row seven starts with one half double crochet in the first three stitches. And now we're gonna do some front post treble crochets around these first two posts. You might need to move these middle ones aside so you can locate one and two. And yarn over twice. Go down, pick up that first post and pull the yarn through. Finish your treble crochet. And again, yarn over twice. Locate that second post, it might be hiding in there a little bit. Go right behind it, pull the yarn through. All right, now we're gonna go back to those front post double treble crochets and we're gonna switch these two stitches with these two stitches. So yarn over three times and now go behind that fifth post and do your double treble crochet. Yarn over three times again, go around that sixth post treble crochet and now we have to go back and pick up this third and fourth post right in there and this is the trickiest part of the whole pattern so yarn over three times and what we have to do is we have to go behind these two posts we just did pick up that third one and still behind bring it back up pull the yarn through finish your double treble Yarn over three times again. Now we gotta get that fourth post. Again, go behind these two. Pick up that fourth and bring it up. Pull the yarn through. Yarn over, pull through two. Finish that double treble. And we're gonna end the row with our three half double crochets. And that is row seven. We're switching these two posts and then the next 
odd row, we're switching these two posts. And every even row is just half double crochet along the back side. Row nine is going to be a repeat of row five. So start with those three half double crochets. Two, three. And now yarn over three times for our front post double treble, starting with this third post. Turn over three times, double treble with that fourth post now. And now we go back and pick up posts one and two with our double trebles still because this is where we're crisscrossing and that's when we do the double trebles. And then we will pick up posts five and six with our front post treble crochet. So that's the double yarn over. Another treble crochet. And then we end the row with those three half double crochets. So that's what we have and we're just switching between crossing these posts and then in the next odd row we cross these posts. Next odd row we cross these posts and all of the even rows are just half double crochet. So row 10, just half double crochet along the back. chain one, turn work, and row 11 is a repeat of row seven, and I'll do this one more time with you. We start with three half double crochets. One, two, three. And now this time we do the front post trebles on the first two posts. So yarn over twice. Treble crochet, yarn over twice, treble crochet around that second post. And now going back to double treble crochets, yarn over three times, and then go around the fifth post. Another double treble around the sixth post. And then this is that extra tricky part where we do the double treble behind these two, right? So we yarn over three times, going behind, picking up that third post, pulling it up, pull the yarn through. Finish the double treble. One more time, two, three yarn overs behind these last posts here, picking up that fourth and final post of this section. And then three half double crochets in those last three stitches. Like so. Chain one, do another backside row of half double crochet. And then I will show you how to finish off this, assuming we've reached the 
desired length of cable braid that we want for whatever project or pattern we're working on. I'll just show you how to end it so that it looks like how we started it. So on your final post row, this is just a sample, remember, so I'm just going to show you how to end it so that it's symmetrical. Again, start with our three half double crochets, one, two, three, and then just like we did in row three when we just did six front post treble crochets, we're going to do that again. So yarn over twice, and we're just going across in order, doing one, two, three, four, five, six posts. And then we end that row with the three half double crochets. Chain one, turn your work, and whatever your last row is, just do one more row of half double crochet along the back side. So that's where we're going to end this tutorial. Hopefully it all made sense. Let me know if you have any questions below in the comments. And as far as what you can use this stitch for, I mean, limit is your imagination. You could easily like make a headband or turn it into a beanie or add it as trim onto any other pattern. And generally you want to keep a couple stitches on the sides just so that the braid is framed and sticks out. And again, let me know if you guys have any questions. Don't forget to hit subscribe and stay up to date on my newest tutorials.